Hello, my name is Brian Delisle, and today I'd like to show you how to recover files that have been deleted off an SD card. Uh, this same procedure will work for thumb drives, external hard drives, uh, pretty much anything that data has been lost. Uh, right here we've got a SD card, and this is uh, just some photos. Uh, they're actually just little samples I made. Uh, nothing too fancy. But you can just see there's 10 of them on here. And uh, yesterday I had someone come up. They imported photos. They didn't realize that the photos were set to delete. The computers in the lab automatically erase and reset themselves every day. So they lost them, or so they thought. So we're going to select all the photos. We'll go up here to delete. And just to make sure, we'll empty the trash can. Empty. Now these photos should be gone forever. We're going to try to recover them. The program I like to use is called Data Rescue 3. Uh, I got a good price on it when it was bundled. Uh, it was $49 and maybe a little bit higher. But once you uh, start it, this is the interface. You start a new scan. Then you'll select the drive. This time we're going to do the uh, SD card we deleted the files from. And then there's a couple different options. Uh, and I've always found that you can do a quick scan. We'll start it. Just double click. It's going to ask you where you want to recover the stuff because you can't recover on the drive you deleted on. So we're going to select one of our other drives. And uh, quick scan was unable to find anything. That's usually the case. Uh, same thing for deleted files. Um, I just haven't had a lot of luck with it. Usually what I always end up going to is a deep scan. And if you're doing a large hard drive, this can take uh, a considerable amount of time. We're doing a 4 gig uh, USB or a 4 gig SD card. And you can see it takes about 10 minutes there. So you'd imagine if you're doing a 40 gig hard drive, it'd be about an hour, 80 gig, you know, all the way up to a terabyte could take up to possibly 12 hours. Um, as it's recovering, uh, it's going to show you the files that it's finding, the types that it's finding. And one thing about this is it's not going to recover your files with all the exact names that you had them. It's just going to recover them with generic names. So if you had Word documents, it'll be like Word document 01, Word document 02, Word document 03. All right, in an effort to speed things up, I'm going to accelerate this search. And we're done. All right, so now that it's found or uh, finished, uh, this is the uh, window that will pop up. And uh, normally I don't know why this file found files is here. There's never anything under it. What, what's normally, everything will be under your reconstructed files. I guess this is something the camera used to keep track or just a default file. Uh, let's see what they did. So here's 10 images, so we'll tell it, we'll check the JPEG folder, and uh, that way it'll recover all the JPEGs. So you just go ahead and here and hit recover. You tell it where you want it to be recovered to, so we'll do the desktop, and we'll new folder, recovered, oops, recovered, pics, and then create. And then hit open. Now, as you're doing this, you have to make sure that the media you're recovering from stays in the machine. If you eject that media and try to recover something, it's going to tell you that the media is not there. So, once you finish that deep scan and your media is still inserted into the machine, you want to recover everything you think you might need. If you're not sure, just go ahead and recover it. That way, Later on down the road, you don't have to go find that device. And if it gets overwritten or something else uses it, you might not be able to recover as much the first time or the second time as you did the first. Anyway, it's done. So we'll go into the folder. Recovered items. Recovered.
and then you notice it, it tells you the resolution and the names are like I said 0, 01, zero, 02, zero, 03 but here they are all 10 of the JPEGs recovered again a few tips for doing this if you delete a file or something gets corrupted immediately shut down or stop working on it because that increases the chances of your IT expert finding something. If you keep using the drive or device, the files might be overwritten by other files and it'll make recovery a lot less likely. Well, this is today's lesson on how to recover deleted files by Brian Delisle at Ohio University. Thank you. Bye.